because once they've clicked join, the calls still haven't joined. You still get waiting to be let in. So to actually let them join, right here where it says FaceTime, one person waiting. It's early in the morning. It's September 24th and the release of the Apple iPhone 13 is today. Yesterday, my queen's iPhone 12 Pro Max, we updated it to iOS 15 so that we could FaceTime with an Android device and with a Windows device. Now, Apple released a short video showing this, but in my opinion, they didn't show all the details in their little 40 second clip. So in my video, I'm going through all the details that you do on both the iPhone as well as an Android phone and as well as a PC if you try to FaceTime from your iPhone to a PC or from your iPhone to an Android phone. Let's get into it. Click that like button for me. Click subscribe. Indulge in your life and indulge clothing for the merch. Now let's see an iPhone FaceTime with an Android phone and a Windows PC for the first time ever. So, my beautiful Queen's iPhone 12 Pro Max just got the iOS 15 update. So now she can FaceTime me on my Google Pixel 4 XL. Let me show you one thing. That is the clarity of my front-facing camera. To start a FaceTime call with somebody outside of the Apple walls of, what do they call it? The ecosystem. So to FaceTime somebody outside of the ecosystem on an Android phone, First, go into FaceTime and then click Create Link. And then you can either send the link via email or messages. So since I'm right here, I'm just gonna click my king because that's what she has me in her phone as. She's in my phone as my queen, but it just doesn't save. And then we'll send this link. There we go. So now she sent a link to me, which will come to my Pixel 4 XL as a text message right here. Join my FaceTime. So now I have the link. I click the link, it opens up facetime.apple.com and it asks for my name, I type in King, continue. Now you would think that's it and you would think you're in the FaceTime call, but you're not. You gotta click join and then you see it pops up on her side and says someone requested to join where that she's able to click and then you would think she's in the FaceTime call, but no, she's not. She has to click join once they've clicked join, the calls still haven't joined. You still get waiting to be let in. So to actually let them join, right here where it says FaceTime, one person waiting, you have to actually select that. And then you see King wants to join. You click the check mark. And done. And now you're actually in the call. Same way for Windows. Hey! Now we're in. That's essentially what it looks like. You can see here at the top, I have my video button and my mic button, and I can even turn my camera around if I want to. And then I guess I can also share the link with someone else. And then from their side, it just looks like a normal, it just looks like a normal FaceTime call. Very echo. sorry. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna do it through email. So I'm gonna create link, select mail, and send an email to myself and uh, join. There we go. Sent that to myself. Now we're going to log into our laptop and we're going to select the link to uh, do it on a Windows PC. So now we're on my Dell Windows laptop. I have the email from her. So I'm going to select FaceTime link, which is then bringing up this window. And just for the heck of it, I'll call this King2. Oh, that didn't type. King 2, and then we'll click continue. We will allow the microphone and camera use. And now that we've allowed that, we can select join, and then we're waiting to be let in. So now she has this notification on her phone, so she'll select that, and then she has to select join, and then say one person waiting, and you have to select that and then give it this check mark. There we go, done. Bingo. We have a we have a FaceTime from her iPhone to a Windows PC. Absolutely crazy. Apple. Apple has finally did it. You can FaceTime outside of Apple. And so there you have it. There's everything that you have to do to try to do a FaceTime call from an Apple iPhone to either an Android or a Windows PC. Now I didn't notice this as much on the PC side, but on the Android side, it definitely seemed to degrade the quality of my front-facing camera. That's why in that clip I said, this is the quality of my front-facing camera, because 
my front facing camera is very clear. It's what I'm using now, but on the FaceTime call through that web browser, it was very gray, very grainy. You couldn't really pick that up in the video, but I'm telling you in person, even my wife noticed it instantly that it just was a very grainy, grayish looking call. Now maybe that's something Apple's doing to try to keep the bandwidth down on their server side because this has to be running through some kind of server on their end for it to be end-to-end -end encryption and all of that kind of stuff. But I did notice that and then as I mentioned, Apple released a video, but their video did not even seem to mention the part where you have to click one person waiting and then click join. They were just kind of like, send the link and they join the link and boom, you're in a FaceTime call. Well, it's not that easy. I can say really, I think this is a great thing. People have asked for years for a FaceTime app on Android, and that's just something that I don't see Apple ever doing due to their ecosystem. But by doing it this way, they're able to share the iPhone experience with somebody who doesn't have an iPhone and just use a web browser. So besides that little bit of graininess that I noticed when I was using my phone, I don't see any issues with this. It worked great, it was smooth. When we actually did a call like outside of the room, everything sounded good, no, no real complaints at all. Now, of course, to add here, Google Duo has been doing this for like five years now, but not that many people, I think, realize that you could download Google Duo on an iPhone and do this. So this is definitely going to advance things forward, though. I remember when I worked in IT, a lot of the doctors, especially since COVID, always had uh, FaceTime meetings. And I noticed that in their emails or like in the posters in their office, it would say, we can FaceTime you or we can Zoom call you. And that was because, of course, if they didn't have an iPhone, well, they couldn't get a FaceTime call. So now with this, they'll just be able to say, hey, we'll FaceTime you. They'll send them the link. They can type up some little instructions or even send them to my video. And boom, the doctor can FaceTime with the patient. The patient never has to go out and it makes life a lot easier. So that'll do it for this video. Hopefully it's helped you out. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe. Make sure you indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And I'll see you all in the next video. Enjoy iPhone day, deuces. The new IMAX with a really, really old mouse. <laughs> Bet you never thought you'd see that. It even has a little scroll wheel. That is a really old Apple mouse.